In today's episode, I'm going to answer the question, should you read books or should you read book summaries? Hey everyone, Matt Giaro here, and I hope that you are reading books and that a sustainable amount of the content that you're consuming comes actually from books. And what's interesting is that I just received, um, by the time I'm recording this, just a few minutes ago on Medium, when I was checking out my stats, that um, I've got an interesting question from someone um, who asked me, who, who actually commented on the blog or the story that I've published on Medium, um, which is actually the book summary of the book, How to Take Smart Notes. And he replied that um, he probably uh, don't have to buy the book because my summary was um, so good or, or, or at least was good enough. So um, what I told him is that even though you think that my summary is good, if you are actually into note taking and if it's an important part of your workflow and if you are actually a knowledge worker and relying on your ideas, then you, pro you should probably pick up the book if you like the summary and if you like the ideas. Because here is the thing. Um, excuse me, there's a little bit of, of wind here, so I hope that's not too harsh. Um, so, um, yeah, what was I saying? Um, I was just saying that um, I told him um, ev everyone is biased, right? So even though my book summary may, um, you may found it interesting, the thing is that there are maybe things that I didn't pay attention to or that didn't really resonate with me, but that m who can actually resonate with you and that you can actually turn into interesting notes and then use them in your work, right? And I remember uh, when I actually started to get interested in, in entrepreneurship and in online marketing and, and actually becoming, um, becoming an entrepreneur, this was like more than 10 years ago, I was just fascinated about how, my, how much knowledge you can actually gain from books and how many books there are out there, actually. And I just understood that I couldn't actually read every book. So it's interesting. I can get, read a lot of book summaries. I could probably 10x or 100x my, um, my knowledge by just reading summaries. But the problem with summaries is that first they are biased, which means that it actually you have to rely on um, the author who may not have the same lenses as, as you and who may actually also miss some things out that could be interesting to you, right? The second thing is that if you are consuming um, a less quality version than the original work, well, um, it may not benefit to you because the more efforts you put in actually extracting information, rewriting them in your own terms, making the connection inside your note system, um, you're not going to really benefit from it. And how many book summaries did you read without actually being able to get a lot out of it? So this is the thing. You could definitely read book summaries just to see what the big ideas of a book are, which is interesting because it will give you an overview of the book, which may help you to read it faster. But when it comes to actually isolating the ideas, and especially if you want to use the authority and to borrow the authority of the author for your content, well, then you have to quote your, the, the author, right? Like, let's say if I was about to tell you, well, um, this or that mar marketer or authority uh, told this and that in the book, if I, just was, it was, if I was just paraphrasing it, it doesn't have the same impact as if I was just telling you um, uh, authority said um, and then just make a, make a rock quotation of, of his, of his, um, of his uh, statement, right? So this is why um, I'm, I'm not a big fan of book summaries. They, as I told you, they both have their place, um, but if, it really, if you really want to benefit from, fr from books, I would certainly encourage you to pick up those books who actually um, 
resonate with you and resonate with your field of expertise and, and, and actually just follow your curiosity when it comes to that. And it all comes down to actually picking up the right books, right? So if you actually, if you actually pick up the right books, um, you could reread them for maybe 5, 10, 20 times um, and then just be able to um, pull out some interesting pieces of wisdom um, and yeah, I mean, there are, there are books like that. You certainly want to reread them um, to actually feed your personal knowledge, man, pers personal knowledge management system. So yeah, this was my answer to the question. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm going to, li to, to leave the links um, to useful content and also a free 30 minutes consult with me in the description. So if you need some help when it comes to creating actually a better workflow, managing your notes, creating creating better notes so that you can create better content, feel free to reach out. And yeah, with that being said, I see you in the next one.